So your hybrid cooling pump has failed and you got the red triangle, code of death. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the basic pointers of how to replace that pump. So the first thing you want to do is open your hood. You take your cap off of your hybrid cooling system. Then you raise your car up and you put a catch pan underneath it and right there you remove that plug and allow the coolant to drain into the pan. Once you've done that and all the coolant comes out, you put the plug back in and you come back up to the top. And you're done underneath. All right. Now, many people say to change this pump, you got to take this bracket off and this right here, and this bracket off right here, okay? And you got to lift your inverter up to get the pump out of there. That is not the case. Here's what you do. Your headlight, as you can see, that's normally in this position here, there's a bolt that goes right there. There's a bolt that goes right there. And there's another that goes in right down in here. Okay? That holds your headlight in. Now, this one's easy to get to. To get to this one, there is a screw with a rubber bumper. Looks very much like that. You unscrew it, you set it in your parts tray, and there's a little clip. You take that clip out, okay. Then, uh, but to get to that too, forgot to put this, you have to take your black cover that sets across through there and it's got a bunch of little clips. Uh, I generally end up breaking mine every time I take it apart and then put new clips in. You can do what you want with that. Okay, see, so once you get that is loose, you pull that up and you can get to that screw. But what about this one? It's right here underneath this fender car and this bumper cover. Now you have to come back here to your tire you pull this little fender liner down like that. Mine's a little easier because it's broke. And there's a bolt right in this area right in here that holds the corner of this in. Once you take that bolt out, you can pop your bumper cover off and take your, that final 10 millimeter bolt out. Then you lift your headlight out and you got your two plugs right here that hook into your headlight right here. I undo this one and I unplug that one. It was just easiest this time. Then you come down here to your pump. All right, you've got two clamps. You got this clamp and this clamp. Take your pair of pliers, you move them back. Take them off your pump. This is the updated pump that I just installed. You take this clip off, you squeeze it, it pulls right out. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you got to take this bracket off. No, you don't. There's three bolts that hold the pump to this bracket. All right, there, and there, and then right down in there. Now, you're going to need some extensions and a ratchet, or if you use a little impact that'll work too but and maybe some uh flexible joints for you know universals whatever you take those three bolts out you take the new pump off of the new bracket and you put install it put everything back together you'll notice my headlight's still done after i've got the system done why is that well here's why this car came in with a failed pump. And after I put the new pump in, I wanted to make sure 
that it worked properly. So I filled it up with coolant and I opened this bleeder valve. Then I come in, push the button, you know, two times. You don't have to get in the car, roll the window down, push the button twice. That way you don't get the inside of your car dirty. Come around here and look inside. There's no flow. And so I work and I fill it up and I open the bleeder and I'm massaging the hoses. Just not working. Still, no flow inside, but I can hear the pump pumping. Still making noise. You can tell it's still got air. You squeeze it, you can still hear air. Brand new pump. So what did I do? It's like, turned everything back off, and squeezed the hoses, and I can hear air moving. Well, it dawned on me that it was an air pocket inside of the inverter assembly. So I took this bracket off right here, set it to the side, undid this clamp, Right there. Pulled the hose back. Sure enough, air. Wasn't even coming back through this system and coming out of the inverter. It was air locked so bad. So I left the, ho the clamp unhooked and I barely pushed that hose back on. I came around here. Pushed the button twice. Then I came back around. Slid that hose off. And it started pushing coolant through. Finally, it was able to overcome the airlock in here. Slid it on. Suddenly, I had circulation. Put my clamp on. And, of course, it's being a pill, so I can't show you. Put the clamp back on. Circulation again. It all works good. The system works as intended. So now I just got to button it back up and get it back to my buddy who's been without his car for a couple days. Sorry this video was a little longer than my normal five-minute video, but... This thing's been a pain. Normally this job takes a half hour at most. But if you've got an airlock, it's going to give you fits. And you're going to think you got a bad pump. Or you've got a bad radiator or something. But airlocks can be very difficult to get out. And apparently, that's where this one was. Inside of here. Once I got the airlock out of it, Absolutely no problems. Works as intended.